Hi, my name's Katie, and I'm going to be showing you how I teach young children about the five senses. When I teach the five senses, I like to use a variety of different apples. We start with our sense of sight. I invite my children to come sit with me and we create a representational drawing of an apple. We look at the different colors of apples, we talk about the different shapes, and we even talk about the stems on top and how they're connected to a tree. Then we move on and we talk about our sense of touch. I teach the children about how apples have skin on the outside and we talk about whether it might feel smooth or whether they think it feels rough. We then actually cut open an apple and look at the inside of it. We use our sense of sight when we discuss the different color of the apple and how it's not the same as the skin on the outside. We also then feel it and we talk about how it's damp or wet and what other things might also feel like that. Then we move on to our sense of smell. I pass the apple around, cut open, and allow the children to smell the apple. When they smell it, they will discuss different things that smell good or smell bad, how these things might smell sweet or sour, and what other smells that they might have around outside or at their homes. Then we talk about our sense of sound. The children are going to be invited to take a bite of an apple, but before they do, we talk about what sound they're going to hear when they take a bite, whether it might be a crunch or a loud noise, and we also talk about other sounds that we might hear outside and at home. Dogs barking, children playing or laughing, different things like that. Then we move on to our sense of taste. The children are invited to take a bite of the apple. Some of the apples are sweet, some are sour. And we'll discuss that in a group about what, which ones were and which ones were sour and all of the differences. And we'll also talk about the other tastes our tongues might encounter, like something sweet or salty or spicy or sour, just different things like that. You then can go back and taste each of the apples and apply all of the senses to each apple at a time. And that's how I teach children about the five senses.